few issues. Matter of fact, we had catastrophic issues, not really catastrophic, but big issues that um, warranted a do-over. Uh, as you can see the middle here, I had to cut open the middle uh, and we had to switch out that transmission. Apparently not all SM420s are the same. All right, big urn here. We have been doing some learning around here. We had to open this thing back up because the transmission wasn't shifting correctly. Um, it was real hard and we couldn't figure it out. We didn't know what was going on. So we tried this, we tried that, we tried everything almost to try to figure it out. Cause SM420 is supposed to just bolt up um, straight on in just exactly how we showed in the other video. But uh, we did some learning here and we have figured out that uh, this particular SM with the ribs right here is a later model. And the retainer that goes on here, this guy has this piece that comes up about a half inch and the old ones don't. So this half inch was creating problems when we were trying to shift um, it wasn't letting that clutch all the way out, so it wouldn't grind in gears like crazy. So, what we had to do is pull this thing out like 30 times, it felt like, doing the SM420 bench press. In and out, trying different things, trying to figure out what our problem was. <laughs> we tried different clutches. Oh, Rob threw more money at it. Yeah, so you can see he's got some money and some different size throw out bearings. We thought that was our problem. But, um, you know, trial and error. Search the internet, talk to people on the internet. They gave us a bunch of ideas, stuff to do. And um, some guy in Tahoe told us that it could be the retainer because these later models have a different retainer. And lo and behold, we pull it out. This one is a little bit longer. You can see the little lines right there. And then you can see that point piece right here. It's a little bit higher than this one. So this is our issue. So what we're gonna do is put one of these old ones in there. And then slide our transmission back in with another bench press and, um, and cross our fingers. <laughs> How many we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, plus the one on Probably seven throw out bearings. <laughs> I was already throwing the towel. I even brought in I brought him another another transmission. I said, you know, that's enough out of this thing. We we've got too much exercise over here, but one more time. <laughs> it's getting personal. It's getting personal. <laughs> <laughs> but we ran into a problem okay so this is not going to work uh, this is a different type of transmission that's uh, not cooperating you can see where the oil slinger here is there this is the older type and this one is to that transmission so the one on the right has a bolt to the to whatever this side of this oil slinger hole our oil slinger hole has nothing. So the bolt pattern here is different than there. So that's not gonna hang out with us no more. We're gonna put that guy in and we're gonna have a good day. <laughs> Anyhow, this is a good thing to point out. So if you guys get an SM420, it looks like that. And it's not gonna work with our Buick V6 because of this reason. And it won't let you shift gears very easily lots of grinding noises um the other issue that i saw too you see the front axle shaft when it's hooked up over here to the front we had it it was very close to those ribs right there so uh, i was fearing when we get this front end articulating on some rocks or something it was probably going to start hitting that but we couldn't confirm it because uh we weren't able to take it out four wheeling but um 
that's where we are on that. We're gonna unhook this back end of the transfer case. We're gonna pull that one out and then we're gonna hook this one back up. All right, we're getting busy. Let's do this. We got the side of the vehicle on. Just wanna show you what we got here. You can see how this is too long and here it's too big. So we're gonna pull that out, switch it in for that one. But it's pretty good to have this out. You can see how it's how it looks. Transmission, adapter, and then you got your transfer case. And your cross member bolts on down there. Set up right here. All right, we got this thing separated. Got the transfer case here, adapter there, the old transmission, and the, and the new one that we're gonna put in. So all SM420s are not the same. Never mind what the internet says. You can have obvious um, obvious features. This is the first one right here. You see this big old housing here with the ribs, and then the regular SM420 has no ribs. This is the one that I've been using for my GPs and uh, I brought this here, so we're gonna put this one in. Um, the other thing we already said that um, this sticks out too far and this nose here is a little bit too big. You can see like it's rubbing marks. It was rubbing on the clutch. I think it's for a big block. Yeah, this is probably for a big block. He says that the guy sold it to him, it was in a dump truck, dump so truck. Um, there's that. So uh, we thought it would work. Internet says all SM420s are the same. They are not. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start throwing this one in there. So we're gonna put this one up and then put that in and then put that in. So yeah, so we put in a new SM420. Well, not a new one, but like a, uh, a used one, good one. Um, I got it working right now. So uh, yesterday I finished welding it all up. He's gonna beautify it. Um, as you can notice, uh, I have floor, brand new floor mounts, um, floor pedals. Um, he had hanging pedals on here that came with the Jeep originally. And that's another issue. <clears throat> we were, we were just gonna, we were gonna just put a hydraulic clutch in and be done with it, because it already had the whole, uh, the other setup already there. But um, the hydraulic clutch that we got 
um, did not work. It just couldn't handle the, the amount of uh, force coming through this SM420 and this clutch. Um, it's real hard, it's real stiff. Um, the clutch that we got from Jeepster Man, it just kind of folded and it wouldn't, wouldn't support this transmission. So we just decided to do a do-over on that one too and just uh, delete the whole uh, hanging pedals because we didn't want to throw more money at another hydraulic clutch that may or may not have uh, worked. So we just went ahead and went back to caveman style, which we know is bomb proof and that uh, we know that I run on all my Jeeps. So, put in the floor pedals and we are ready to go. We just need to put in the, um, the transfer case stick shifts and put some oil in it. And we're going to be ready to rock and roll. So, let me show you what I did. Uh, as you can see, we have limited uh, room right here. So, I had to cut the pedal a little bit. Give us some room for some uh, some foot action here. We eliminated the hydraulic clutch that we were trying to put in, and then and then we just got the regular one. Let's see your clutch here, all mechanical. And you can see where it hooks it up here. I got it on a bracket. Going back. You see it come around there. I have a fastener on it. And it comes back up here. I also made this, this T here. You see that? It, it bolts onto the back of the adapter and then to the front of the transmission and then I also have it supporting here on the top of that um, rubber mount so it's very sturdy and uh, it supports this cable pretty good there's many ways to do it um, this is just the way that I'm doing it and it works very well let's see here can't see there it is right there so that's the clutch the brake is the same we went to a uh, Willys Jeep master cylinder to the brake to the regular brake brake pedal uh, nothing fancy there got the lines in there um, yeah and that's how we did it Yeah, we had a, I welded all that back up again. Um, test drove it up and back a little bit. So we're ready to take it out to the street as soon as we get those handles hooked up. Mm. My little puppies. I'll get in more depth uh, when I build Bobboys. So I'll go step by step. This one, I was just, man, just a holes and elbows, just trying to get it done so we can go cruising around and, you know, get his Jeep back. But um, that's what we had to do with this one here. All right, we got the center piece off of there. Putting in the stick shifts for the transfer case. Um, getting it ready for a little test drive. You can see where I put on my little hardware deals here to hold the cable in it goes right to the clutch and this clutch is very very strong <laughs>
amped up that hydraulic clutch up pretty quick. And the rest is just stock. Welded in that uh, floor back in, same pieces. Pretty quick. There's our transmission. Fits in there real nicely. Has a lot more room than I got in my CJ2A. Um, but yeah, that's what we did. We ran out of daylight, so we'll have to do these another day, patch those up. Other than that, we should be ready to go. Right in. <laughs> Piece of cake. One weekend, right? <laughs>